So I had a conversation last week with a guy in my mastermind group, a guy that I mentor. We started talking about putting some trajectories, putting some goals into his business, right? Laying out the rest of his 2018 so that he can see big changes in his business, right? Because when people join me, they do it for two reasons, one, right? They either do it to create more freedom because they're already making a ton of money, or they want to level up their business. They want to train, change the trajectory of the revenue stream. They want to grow their business uh, in, a different, in a different level, right? Because let's be honest, guys, not everyone in business wants more, right? I think that's a challenge that a lot of people have. They think that everyone that's in a, in, in a group, everyone that joins a mastermind, everyone that hires a coach or a mentor wants to scale that thing to $100 million. It's not always the truth. Some people are successful and just can't figure out how to create time for themselves and freedom, right? So how do we create success with freedom and balance, right? Balance is kind of a tricky word. I don't love that word. But let me get back. I digress. These two things I want to talk to you about today. And by the way, guys, I don't pitch anything to you. First of all, I don't pitch really anything to you, but I don't talk about anything on Facebook. I don't talk about anything on video that I haven't experienced in my own life. I don't tell you or teach you anything that hasn't made me successful in my own career, right? Hasn't helped my team or helped me physically create in some way, shape or form, right? There's so many fakes out there. There's so many fake book fucking hacks in the world and it drives me nuts. So really be careful about who you're paying attention to. And I'm not even saying you should take everything that I say as, as you know, gospel. God knows you should, you should be testing yourself and seeing what works for you. But these things that I'm gonna to talk to you about today, I've experienced myself, I've taught other people, and I've watched them change. I've watched them integrate these things into their business and their life, and I've watched them develop because of these simple, simple things. And the things that I'm about to tell you, they're gonna feel so simple that you're gonna say, it's not possible, Joe. I can't just implement those things into my practice. I can't just implement those things into my business. And I can't just simply do those things and see a change, right? But here's the thing, folks. What's missing in today's business and today's culture a lot, and this is a challenge for business owners because a lot of us are type A, right? A lot of us are just run and gun. A lot of us just have a ton of great ideas, and we do have a lot of great ideas, right? So if you, if you feel me on that, you have a lot of great ideas and you can never figure out a way to implement them all, right? You're constantly in the shower thinking about stuff. You're driving, thinking about stuff. You're in bed thinking about stuff. You're always coming up with great ideas, but you can never implement them, right? One of the challenges we have as business owners is discipline, right? We lack discipline. And, 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 and before you get offended by that, hopefully you're not too offended by that. The fact is, we lack discipline in the fact that we don't take the time to actually create good process around the idea. So you have a great idea, you start slapping shit together, you start creating like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And God forbid you make money doing it, right? You have a great idea and you go make money doing it. Then what happens? Then what happens? I'm gonna hire this guy, I'm gonna do this thing, I'm gonna put some money into that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do marketing around it, I'm gonna spend money, I'm gonna invest. Then what happens? Then it starts to falter. And next thing you know, well, maybe it was a bad idea. No, no, folks. It maybe, maybe it wasn't a bad idea. You just lack the discipline around recording the process, around taking the time to actually write down how you got successful to begin with, around actually figuring out how you did it to begin with. How did you make that money the first time to begin with? writing it down. See, the thing is, guys, when we start making good money, we start to neglect the fact that we, we, we have a lot of unique abilities, right? So let's say, for example, you figured out how to flip a house. You take for granted the fact that you, found, you went and found the house. You take for granted the fact that you negotiated the deal. You take for granted the fact that you made the networking happen possible for you to find that house to begin with. You take for granted the fact that you're smart enough to know where to get the money, how to buy the property, how to flip the property, what materials to put in the property, who to know to flip the property, your connections, your resources, right? All of that stuff is your unique 
proven process because you've proven it because you've done it. Now, this is one example. If you're watching this and you sell insurance or you're watching this and you run a landscape company or you're watching this and you run an enrollment company or you're watching this and I don't care what you do, but you do something successfully, you have to have the discipline to record your process so that you can then teach others how to mirror your process. You can then teach others how to do exactly to a T what you just did to make that money. So what's number two? Number one is discipline. Number two, and this is severely lacking in today's culture, and I'm not just gonna point out the millennials because the millennials get a bad fucking rap because of their situation and because of the way that they act, but it's not just millennials because I know 60 year olds that lack this in an amazing, amazing way. And don't blame it on your ADD, your fake ADD that was never diagnosed. Don't blame it on the fact that you drink too much coffee. And don't blame it on the fact that you got a lot going on. We all lack patience, friends. We don't have enough patience to see the shit followed through. So, you put something into a course of action, you start to see it happen, you start to see it flourish, maybe something starts to make money, and then poof, you're on to the next thing. We start to do something else. It doesn't work fast enough. The thing doesn't happen fast enough. We don't like the process, so we alter it. There's some other shiny object gets put in front of our face and we buy it. Our team doesn't learn fast enough. Our discipline to create the process never actually happens. So by the time it takes us to figure out the process, we've already moved on to the next thing because we don't have the patience to follow through or the discipline to do it. Now again, I'm not talking down to anybody who's watching this video if you're watching the replay or the live. And by the way, thumbs up if you kind of feel where I'm coming from. Guys, I, this is an intro. Uh, this is an introspective conversation, okay? I do this all the time. And I always have to say to myself, am I being patient enough with my people? Am I being patient enough with my staff? Am I being patient enough with my team? Am I being patient enough with the process? Am I using the discipline that I need to get through during the process, the phase? Am I, am I doing it correctly, right? If we're moving on, should we be moving on or should we be giving this thing another chance, right? Discipline and patience, guys. Now, discipline is not an easy thing to do. If you watch a video, there's a video by a retired commander, um, I think he was a, a colonel actually, called Making Your Bed. Go Google it, it's a YouTube video about making your bed. It's fucking amazing. But it's basically about discipline. And the whole concept is that if you can't get out of bed in the morning and make your bed, then you might as well not even get out of bed in the morning, right? It's about the concept of how you do one thing is how you do everything. I don't know if you know this, but like it's a concept of if your car is dirty, your life is probably dirty, right? If you can't make your bed, you probably can't do a lot of things, right? It's how you carry yourself. It's how you, you attract other people around you. It's how you send an email to a client. It's how you, you learn sales. It's how you interact with the world around you. It's the shit you put on Facebook. It's whether you're attracting negative or positive. It's whether or not you have an abundance mindset or a scarcity mindset, right? It's if you can make your bed, you can do everything else. How you do one thing is how you do everything. Guys, that's discipline. If you're disciplined enough to make your bed, you're probably disciplined enough to be successful. If you're not, maybe you should start making your bed. There you go. So make your bed, I guess, is the concept of the story, guys. Discipline and patience. Discipline and patience. The two things that I see most often are the diff most difficult things for entrepreneurs to tackle. There you have it. Get those right and you will see the stars, my friends, I promise. Ask me how I know.